Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover the order of operations and specifically, we're going to take a look at an example with a fraction bar and our final answer is going to work out to be a fraction. So the numerator is going to be less than the denominator. Remember, for the order of operations, we have parentheses, exponents, multiplication and division, and then addition and subtraction. As far as the fraction bar, that tells us to group everything together on the top, the numerator, and group everything together on the bottom, the denominator. The fraction bar acts as a grouping symbol. Group the top, group the bottom, and then lastly, we divide the top by the bottom. So the numerator divided by the denominator. In this example though, we will not divide because we end up with a proper fraction. We end up with a fraction for our answer. The numerator is going to be less than the denominator. Let's jump into our example where we have above the fraction bar, five squared minus, and then in parentheses, 10 plus nine, end parentheses. And then below the fraction bar, in parentheses, we have 11 minus eight, end parentheses, times, in parentheses, four plus two, end parentheses. Now let's start with the top, and we will work to the side here. So do we have any parentheses? Yes, so let's start there. We have 10 plus nine in parentheses, which is 19. So we have five squared minus 19. And then as far as the denominator below the fraction bar, do we have any parentheses? Yes, we have two sets of parentheses. Let's start with the first set where we have 11 minus eight. That gives us three. So we have three times, and then the second set of parentheses, we have four plus two. That gives us six. So now we have three times six below the fraction bar. Now we need to continue to work through the order of operations. So taking a look at the top, we have five squared minus 19. We need to do five squared next. We need to take a look at that exponent. Five squared means five times five. So that is 25. So now we have 25 minus 19 above the fraction bar. And then below the fraction bar, we have three times six. And that is 18. So we have 25 minus 19 over 18. Now we can subtract as far as the top goes. So 25 minus 19 is six. So we end up with six over 18, six eighteenths. Now six eighteenths is our final answer. We have a proper fraction here. The numerator is less than the denominator and that's okay. When this happens, we can always look to see if we can simplify the fraction. In this case, we can. We have a greatest common factor other than one that we can divide both six and 18 by. Six is actually the greatest common factor. So let's divide six and 18 by six in order to simplify. So six divided by six gives us one, and then 18 divided by six gives us three. And we end up with one third. The only common factor between one and three is one, so this is in simplest form. Final simplified answer, one third. So there you have it. There's an example of an order of operations problem with a fraction bar, and the final answer works out to be a fraction. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.